So Stanley, tell us about Heritage. What inspired this piece? Um, it's kind of like a series of um, events that had happened. The first one is just growing up. I grew up in Venezuela. That's where I'm originally from, even though I've been I'm a citizen and I've been in the United States 27 years. But, you know, we studied the Civil War, American history. Um, so we already, growing up, had an association of this flag with slavery and the Civil War. Um, in 1983-84, I was a student. I, I moved to the United States to go to college, and I was at a community college in Houston. And around 1984, I believe I remember seeing uh, Klansmen in a street corner waving the Confederate flag, and one of them had a megaphone screaming all sorts of things that I'm not sure exactly what my English was limited. But that image kind of stuck in my head. I lived there 12 years and never saw that again, but it kind of made me realize that it was real. It was something that did exist, not just from these things that I had studied, but you know, a real event that happened that I uh, I watched. Um, many years, uh, you know, many years later, I ended up going to graduate school in Virginia. Um, and I remember seeing the rebel flag displayed in front of house, in, you know, houses or, you know, stickers, plates, and um, it just always gave me an uneasy feeling about it. I, I, I wasn't sure what to think about it. I just didn't like it. It seemed kind of, I don't know, it because I associated it with, with the Klansmen and racism and that kind of stuff. So. Um, we moved forward and I ended up living in Georgia. We moved here five, almost five years ago. And I think it was last year, year and a half ago, near Athens where I live. Uh, it was in a lot of the papers. Uh, they've had uh, KKK meetings, public meetings. Um, so if you go to the, their website, they've taken this image, they kind of appropriated this image and kind of given it a bad name. So when I see this flag, that this is what I think of. Um, and that's why I created this painting. It's just what I think of when I see it. Um, I'm aware that other, there's another side to it, and other people don't see what I see. Uh, there's a, you know, a heritage attached to it, and, and I understand that. This is just how I feel when I see that image. You know, that's, those are my associations. So that's why that's where the inspiration came from, this series of events. What did, uh, did you have a, a specific hope that what other people would, about what other people would take away from it? Well, when, when Beth uh, and I, when, when Beth was getting, Beth Sill is the gallery, uh, gallery director for this gallery, um, when she um, was planning the, the faculty show, I met with her, I said, I would like to show this image, but I know it is going to be controversial. Um, do you think it'll be okay to show? So we we talked about it and said, I, I think it's going to promote discussion and dialogue. So I thought, yeah, that'll be good. It'll, it'll expose the students to just my personal view of the image, and then it'll trigger some discussion and dialogue. Um. <clears throat> You've showed this piece before. Um, yes. What, if any, reaction did you get then? And, and where? I went, um, I got a solo show at Radford University in Radford, Virginia. That's where I got my MFA back in October of last year. Mm -hmm. um, no, back in August, from August to October uh, of last year, uh, last semester. And I showed this image with a lot of the flag series mm -hmm. that I've been doing, including this image. And I did not get any, there was not a controversy about it. Nobody mm -hmm. complained, nobody censored, censored it. No. I suppose it depends on who you ask, but mm -hmm. is the piece offensive? It's not offensive to me, <laughs> but... <laughs> It has offended a lot of people. Yeah. Um, 
I'll say this. I, I knew it was going to be controversial. It never crossed my mind that it would be offensive for some reason. I just knew it was going to be controversial because I knew because of the flag and the rebel flag and the symbol and what it symbolizes for a lot of people. It's still a raw I, subject. I knew that a lot of people were not going to agree with it. Mm -hmm. But I really never thought of it being offensive, really. I never crossed my mind that I, it would be offensive. When I was doing it, I, I wasn't doing it to purposely offend mm -hmm. people. So I just never thought it would be. But now I realize it has offended right. a lot of people. I think so. intent counts for a lot myself. Yeah. Um, and where, where can we see more of your artwork? I have a website, but I have not included any of the flag series yet, mm -hmm. especially this image because because of the nature of it, right. um, because of the internet and you know the two sides. I didn't want to make things worse, so that's why I have not put it on Facebook or put it on my website. But I do have a website. It's just www.stanleybermudes.com. Well, Stanley, I thank you very much for coming out thank and talking you. with us today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.